All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install an optical drive into your computer. The tools you will need are an anti-static computer mat, anti-static wrist guard, multi-bit screwdriver, and of course, the DVD drive itself. When you're shopping for an optical drive, you wanna make sure that your computer matches up with the system requirements for the DVD drive. So if it's a SATA, you'd wanna get a SATA DVD drive. If it's a PETA, you'd wanna get a PETA DVD drive. All right, when working inside your computer, you wanna make sure you have your anti-static mat and your anti-static wrist guard to protect against electrostatic discharge. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and put the DVD drive in the slot here. This little space is for another optical drive if you ever wanted to put another one inside the computer. It just slides on in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the DVD drive in to the power supply. Right, go ahead and plug in the SATA cable. And now from the DVD drive, we connect it to the motherboard, like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the screws in to lock the DVD drive in place. But you wanna make sure you line up your DVD drive properly first so that it's not in too far and it matches up with the screw holes on the chassis. All right, most DVD drives are plug and play, but if yours happens to not enable itself when you plug it in, I can show you how to enable it. To enable your DVD drive, you're gonna go to Start, scroll over my computer, right click, click on Manage, and your computer management window opens up, you're gonna click on Device Manager, uh, and here is your available DVD drives, and it tells me that it's disabled by this little arrow right here, so to enable your, your DVD drive, you're gonna right click, click on Enable, and it just refreshed itself and now your DVD drive should be working properly.